folks, Andy here at Why Not Farms. Uh, I just thought I'd take you through a little bit of uh, putting my first batch of eggs into lockdown. So basically what I've done is I've taken my ready to hatch tray and I've candled every single one of them before I put them in lockdown. I actually lost a couple Sarama eggs between day 11 and lockdown. That's pretty typical of Sarama eggs. They uh, develop, but they don't always hatch. They're not a real easy bird to hatch. So what I do is I take my puppy pad and I put it in my bottom tray. It just gives them a little bit more of a uh, pad when they hatch. And then basically I just set the eggs one at a time into my tray and I kind of try to space them out okay which isn't easy now you got to realize that the birds themselves when they start hatching are going to roll these all around so don't get too shook up I just put them down on the pad right now and when I finally close that door for the uh, lockdown time period. It's not as big of a deal with a cabinet as it is a smaller incubator lockdown, that is. Um, I kind of just try to give them a little bit of space. I don't like them too cramped. I know they can get out, but I just try to make sure that they have enough space to break open that shell and maybe not struggle as much. Um, I have about 42 eggs here on my first batch which is down from 50, 55 when I started. It's early spring, and so that's expected. I expect the fertility to be lower on my first hatch than at any other time during the season. I'm a little worried about my cream-crusted leg bar eggs. I really can't see much going on. You got the blue tint with the blue tint, and so, yeah, you can see the air sac really easily, but I can't see much else along with my marin eggs um, that again I can see the air sac but nothing else so and a couple I didn't really see movement seemed like the egg was pretty uh, full um, but when you don't see movement you always worry a little bit that maybe something developed but is not still alive and so as I said, kind of into that tray we go. And I will just move those along. And now I also have my two other trays. So what I do is I move each tray um, so that I can have access to a third tray, which I'm going to put new eggs in today. So at that point, I'll have four sets going, and I won't have any lost time. Hopefully this helps somebody. Have a great night, everybody, from Why Not Farms.